Khush was talking to Karan about his day at school. He had a math class, a science practical and a fun period today. He said, I could describe my day using the three states of matter. Karan was confused. Khush continued to explain. In math class, everyone sat at their places like the molecules in a solid. No one was allowed to leave their places. We know that solids have closely packed molecules because of strong forces of attraction holding them together. This also does not allow the molecules to move about in random motions. They are vibrating in their mean position only. As a result, they have a definite volume, shape and size. Solids do not flow and do not take the shape of the container they are placed in. Also, because of less intermolecular spaces, it is difficult to change the size and shape of solid. Science practical was more like liquid. Students were allowed to move freely in the lab, but no one could leave the lab. Molecules in a liquid are loosely packed molecules with a weaker force of attraction. This means liquids do not have a definite shape and size. They do, however, occupy a specific amount of space which is very difficult to compress, a lot like solids. The particles in liquids have some more space to move randomly but are still held back by the intermolecular force of attraction and gravity. Whereas in the fun period, the students were allowed to move randomly in the playground just like gases are free to move as they please. The intermolecular arrangement in a gas is very spacious with a very tiny force of attraction between the molecules. The particles have more freedom to spread and are not even held back by gravity. This also means that they have no definite shape and take the shape of the container they are stored in. They can be significantly compressed by applying pressure, unlike solids and liquids which have fixed volumes. Karan was amazed at how a day at school can be compared to different states of matter. You keep exploring your lesson. Alright then, that's all for today. See you next time.